I swim. You swim. We swim. Very good, everyone. Now, Farhad, do you swim? I swim. Everyone, Farhad swims. So, he swims. Good. Now let's conjugate the verb to swim with the other pronouns. She, she swims. They swim. Zer swims. Z swims. Zai swims. What's wrong? I don't understand. That's okay. I don't understand. And that's all right, Louise. So I is the first person pronoun used when you're referring to yourself. I swim. Correct. Yes, I understand I, but I don't understand what is that. Oh, they are all gender neutral pronouns. What does that mean? Gender neutral pronouns are what you use when you're referring to someone who doesn't want to be referred to by traditional masculine or feminine pronouns, like he or she. So not a boy, not a girl. That's right, Yuki. Is he gay? Uh, no. Well, not necessarily. My brother, he gay. Is he one of them? Do you know your brother's preferred pronouns? I don't know. My family not speak to me. Okay. Cultures are different. It's important when studying and practicing English that you stay sensitive to the pronouns of others. Not a boy, not a girl. Uh, that's a table, Farhat. It is a table. You see, the table didn't choose its gender. Objects can't do that. But people can. For example, what is Yuki? Girl? Well, maybe. We don't want to misgender Yuki. Yes, I'm a girl. You could be. I am. Yeah, but you could also be someone who was assigned female at birth, but now identifies as non-binary. So we would, in fact, use a gender-neutral pronoun for you. Like Z. What is a sign? Is homework? Uh, no, no, no. A sign is how you look on the outside. But how you feel on the inside? That is how we identify. I Identify swim. Really, Farhad? I am confused. You shouldn't be confused, Yuki. Sorry. It's really not that hard, you guys. There's only 63 pronouns. 63 pronoun? Yes. And it's important before speaking to anyone that you ask, what is your preferred gender pronoun? I have to ask everyone that? Yes, of course. Louise, what if you accidentally referred to a Z as a za? Wouldn't you be embarrassed? No. Of course you would. You should be embarrassed. And you know what else? It's offensive, right? Right. And you want to be a gender ally, right? Right. You're not learning English to be a bigot, are you? OK. All right. Luis gets it. OK. So who is still confused? This <laughs> rims.